All right. So I discussed a little bit the other day, yesterday to be exact, on team composition, some of the different factors. Well, I got a little bit of a lucky pull, and I got another letter, Sarah. I'm just going to call her lettuce because it's hilarious. So I got a lettuce. The nice part about lettuce is she gives some capabilities. Do I have anybody that needs to be pulled out? No, thankfully. Okay. Um, she can heal three people, she can do a little buffing, and she can dish some damage out. So, we're going to toy around a little bit, and I'm going to show a little bit about team composition through kind of some of the same old BS that I normally do. All right. All right. Actually, let's do Everybody's already been through here. Well, there's going to be nothing left of the dungeon. Damn. Eh, you know, I'm just going to call it good because I'm not too worried about that stuff. All right. <clears throat> Ranked matches. So we're not going to put any of the skip stuff on because I'm going to kind of bebop back and forth. Okay, so the power stays the same. Uh, unfortunately, she's only two star. I do not have her three star because I need more people. I might be able to roll back a GERD. Let me see here. Let me see. Uh, convert. Rebirth. Roll back. Nope. Remake. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's all right. Uh, and I really don't have anything that I can readjust there, so grab these. Cause All right, so Swift Ollie is ahead because Swift Ollie has that little perk where he can't take more than 30% damage. So basically, I'm given a heal with Letisera, and I'm also given some AoE damage. So both of those are good factors. Uh, while I do lose a couple capabilities from Shariar, uh, I do gain a couple of kind of similarities with lettuce. So we'll, we'll just kind of do some playing, playing around and see how it goes. I do feel her heal is a little too fast though. Or her herself is just really, really fast. So, but it does give a second heal. The or the reason behind it is it gives a second heal. Uh, so 
It's just a better option. You know what? We're going to try this. So we got Gerd, Cindy, Conch, Gale, and Kuya. So it's a 2 2 1. Uh, I haven't really got into talking about this kind of stuff. Uh, but my bonuses will be a little bit higher. Um, 17 12 instead of 14 10. Um. So we got a guaranteed nine star, two eight stars, two seven stars. And I've got two nine stars and uh, two nines, two eights, one seven in this instant. So I'll, I'll discuss kind of some factors. I've seen some individuals that use Lettucera. Lettucera is a good good option if she mixes with your team correctly. Right now she's a little weak. So it's a little difficult for her to be a uh, 100% capable of working with my team you know she still needs another star to be where she needs to be at <clears throat> uh, she does provide another healing which is very very beneficial um, my team definitely needing some extra healing also as well as some extra damage right now this it seems like these two teams are really neck and neck and I'm taking a little bit of a hit over them. Um, oh no, they're taking a hit, excuse me. Um, so I'll talk about Lettuce Sarah. She, her first is a healing. Her second one is, you know, front and mid row or mid and back row. So she's got some AOE that dishes some magic damage and can apply burning. I think damage amplification as well. So basically they take 20% more damage as well as um, they do uh, Oh goodness um, They can take more damage as well as you know have overtime and anything that is overtime provides healing. So as they're taking burning damage, my team gets healing from it if I think right. So there there's a lot of factors that have gone into it, you know. As you can see my Ollie's holding in pretty good. Um I got a little bit of extra kinds of damage mixed in, and it looks like things are fairly smooth. Um, my relics do help a little bit. I should probably check them and make sure they're the ones that I need to. I haven't really cared about relics too much. Um. And I'll also let us Sarah after we get done with this battle. I'm kind of actually enjoying this. Um, the reason for this is I wanted to show other options, you know. I know I show that I got Shariar usually. Um, and I built my team to where I like it. But I wanted to see what it'd be like if I swapped Shariar for another support. Somebody that provided, you know, healing and I think it, she she does a few things. I'll have to show everyone that. I can't ever remember. But the capabilities are enough that it can make a difference. I want to find a way to um, show that the capabilities of your team can be different. So that one worked fairly well. Ooh, man, 
That was a little laggy. Okay. Lettuce. Come here, lettuce. So she is support for burning and recovery. So she heals allies, three allies. So not all five, so three. With the lowest HP for 117%. And then she increases their crit rate by 20%. And then two allies with the lowest HP gain flame mark. So, if Swift Ollie is where he's at, he gets healed. He gains an extra 20% crit rate. Now, I need my uh, Dark Queen to be faster than my Ollie. And I don't think she is. And then you got Flame Mark that increases healing by 20%, Crit Resist by 10%, and then one hit has a 70% chance to inflict the attacker with flaming. So that little, like, flame ball that you see above them, that is um, the Flame Mark, meaning they get a little bit more healing. <clears throat> and then they got a six. there's a, her second active... Um, so she can hit three or four enemies at a time. So front, mid row, or mid and back row. Uh, where she hits them with magic damage. And then there's a 65% chance to inflict burning and damage amplification on two targets. So there's capabilities. And then when an enemy takes damage from persistent debuffs. You know, burning... Bleeding, poison, curse, all of that stuff. I think even Swift All Ease would count. 30% of that is converted into healing and shared by all allies. So, oh, she is rather quick. So, what is her stats? She's got 2708. Damn, she is faster than my All Ease. Uh, let's let's actually reforge one of these to be a little bit more beneficial. Phoenix one. Nope. Hyper two. Nope. Erasure. Uh, nope. Crit resist, okay. You know what? We'll save that. Mm, what does this give her? This gives her attack. 2583, 2552. Okay, that'll be enough because her first one, when she inflicts with death mark, it provides some physical damage relief for two rounds so if she hits before he does um that'll give her a buff or him a buff excuse me uh you know what we're gonna start this one up uh auto Oh, you need one of the same kind. I'll have to check what I got my uh, item. So, gear. We've got none of that. Okay. I need EXP. Okay. I got six million EXP. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll just wastefully spend this. Cool. I need fire. <clears throat> uh, who do we want to level up right now? Actually, I want to level up my Kuya. Want 
in her once. Okay. Makes it a little easier doing it that way. Let's see. I've got... What do I need for... Three. I need one more. Okay. So, my point of showing all this and why I'm doing all this, okay? You can vary your team in a lot of ways. You can change the way your team reacts to other teams. You can change the way your team survives. Just going all out gung-ho damage is not a great way to go at everything. I know it seems rude to say that, but I say this for a reason. <clears throat> if you're going gung-ho damage, okay? I got three. There's a chance that you are not going to be prepared for every type of that you can go against and I'll say that again there's a chance you will not be ready for every type that you can go against okay I could get an and from here because I really don't want anything else and that and would get me you know what That should give me my third. I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to go out on a limb. Okay, we got one, two, three. Confirm. Confirm. Uh, we'll use Gerd. And push her up one more. Okay. The reason for that was I wanted to make her a little bit stronger. Um, she does prove that she's beneficial to my team. So this plays into some of the things that I've been speaking about or trying to speak about is how do you vary your team uh, in a way that's been a whoo gems uh, beneficial okay you can build your team so many different ways but the true question is is how does it benefit in the right way okay how do you want your team to perform? How do you want things to go on? How do you want the battle to turn out? How do you want things to look in the end? How do you want things to be? Don't look at it and go, oh, well, yeah, I'll just use this because I got extras. Spend a little time. Figure out what you want. Buy mind gems. Those mind gems will do a lot. The other way that I could build this team, if I really wanted to, is, I mean, it's kind of weird, the other thing that I could do, but I don't think it'd be beneficial, so I'm not swapping yet, but I could essentially go here and go Sharyar, go here and go Bunny Maid, don't have Bunny Maid up, so not as strong of an option. Or I could swap her and go here. I lose a little bit of power, but phew, we're going to play around with it. This is showing team composition, okay? Okay, there's the physical damage. Now they're going to take more damage. Blade Gina goes to attack support. 
so there's a chance that you can take out support quicker. Now, she's not good on her own. Mind you that. Okay. She is not good on her own. She does have to have other individuals. That this is other options too. The only thing that lacks in this this segment is Oh, excuse me. Uh, the amount of healing if you're in battling against a good team. Okay. Say I'm against a fairly solid team. My team like that will not hold up. And I will show that here in a second. I'll have to find somebody with a little bit lower power to kind of pick on. Um, yes, I said pick on. I'm going to bully somebody and be absolutely okay with it. Um, pharmacy is life. Fooey. Okay. We slop, sw swap her for Blade Gina. So Blade Gina is going to target Thumbboy. Thumbboy is the support in this one. Okay. Swift Ollie is where he's at so he can take some extra damage. That way he can gain the boost of 20% crit rate from Lettucera. Because of the physical damage increase or amplification to enemies that makes whole well say goodbye to gird jeez i'm not sorry for that one it also makes sure that when he counterattacks he has higher crit rate when he counterattacks this is another way that i can readjust my team I can set Shariar in the front. You know, I could put Shariar where Kuya's at. Put Kuya behind Shariar. Shariar take a little bit better damage. Or I can set some other manners up. Uh, I'll show some of those here in a moment. And these are just some different options. As you can see, I got some different options that I'm working on. I'm just not all there yet. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to get all of that set in place. So, let's go Ghost. So, another option I could do. One that I'm not really fond of is Cross. So we'll take that individual out. We're going to put him in. Take that one out. Put that one in. So now I got my guardians taking most of the damage. This leaves Swift Ollie in the middle so that he can take a little bit of damage. Um, and also protect the other two, which is very necessary. And it keeps those that I need to keep alive back. So where Genie deals physical damage because of his counterattack, that makes sure my queen stays alive a little bit longer. Ooh, nice. Ooh, almost a full 50% on uh, Shariar there. Looks like this is working pretty good, too. Now, this isn't my preferred way of doing it, and it's probably a definite unorthodox way of doing it. And I've got other ways I can reset, you know, readjust or reset my team. So that way I can go against various different teams. 
Um, right now, I'm pretty much doing a little bit of bullying. Um, I've been trying to just kind of sit back and watch some of the different things go on. Um, so that I could learn how people are building their teams. So this instance, we got Red Queen as the tank, guaranteed 9-star. Fairy Mary, 9-star. Looks like Gail Ladin, 9-star. 8-star is, or no. Those three are 8-stars. My bad. 9-star is uh, this one right here, Miss Conch. We got a 7-star, Miss Brittany. Um, let's try and set up a, another kind here. So, how do we want to do this? We'll go like this, take her out. Let a Sarah, let a Sarah goes in the back. Hmm. Or we could do pocket and have him go in the front and then have Letta Sarah behind Kuya. So we'll battle this way. So this method here is to allow Swift Ollie to take damage to guarantee that he gets healed. By Letta Sarah. So there's the heal. There's that. And that was almost all eighty percent damage on Red Queen. This is one of many ways that you can set up a team. You can set up a team to have various combos like this. You know, I just normally use Shariar because I didn't have any of the others that I really wanted. I've been waiting on a lettuce to get up. So this is one combo that I can speak about, you know. You got lettuce to increase Swift all these attack or crit rate, and it only happens every so often. And when it does happen... It basically guarantees that he's going to knock out anywhere from 40 to 80% of a character's health in one attack. Um, that's, in my eyes, far better than um, Prince Charming. Now, this team was 1.6 million, same level as I am. And I wiped the floor with it. Oh, how far am I? Okay, I'm all in ways. Um, so vary your teams. Look at the ways you can vary your teams. Um, and don't look away from the various opportunities. There's a 70,000 critical right there. There's options. Let's see if we can find. Let's go out with a little bit of a bang here. See if we can find someone. So we got Shariar. We got Queen Lilith. Okay. Brittany. Nightmare Elish. Or Nightmare Ella. And Larissa. We're going to try that one. Okay. And I actually want to set Lettucera in the back. Just for a couple of different reasons. One, she's a little squishier than Miss Conch. So there's the one, two, Ali. And Ali took out about... Oh, 20 30 percent of Sharia. Boy, 
So now this is still guaranteeing. Oh, uh, man, this one's going to be rough. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be a loss. Oh, wow. I ended up in victory. Okay, I just felt to skip it because I know this video has been going on a while. And I don't like doing the long videos, even though it helps bring a lot out. Um, so, I hope this helps because I'm trying my best to show the various ways you can build teams. So, I appreciate y'all that come around. And y'all have a good one.